In this tutorial, we will take a look at the Append Changes option for a multi-line text column. This option allows you to keep a history of multiple entries in the text field. Whenever the item is edited and new text is typed in that column, it is appended to the existing text. All entries in that column are displayed as history records along with the date and timestamps and the usernames of those who added the text as pictured in this example. You can see there are three history records in the comments field. The history records for Sandra and John display the text they added to the comments field. Notice the history record for Teresa Murphy doesn't have any text next to it. That's because Teresa corrected the address, she did not add any text in the comments field. SharePoint still creates a history record for the change made to the item, but without any text next to her name. To demonstrate creating a multi-line text field with the append option, I will add a column for storing comments to a customer contacts list. It will give me a place I can note any special information about the customers, such as likes and dislikes, or keep track of issues and resolutions. The first thing I must do in order to add a multi-line text column with the append changes enabled is to enable the versioning option for the list. Versioning is what saves the history of each entry in the column. If versioning is not enabled for the list, SharePoint will not allow me to enable the Append Changes option for the column. To enable versioning, select the List tab, and then choose List Settings. In the Customization screen, select Versioning Settings. In the section Item Version History, select Yes to enable versioning. And then click OK to save. So now I can add the new column, which I'll do right here in the settings screen, clicking on create column, and I'm going to name this column comments. The type of column will be multiple lines of text. Here I can select what format of text to allow in this column. I can choose from plain text, rich text, or enhanced rich text, which allows pictures and tables. And I'm going to change that just to rich text. And in this last option, append changes to existing text, I'll select yes to enable that feature. And then I'll select OK to save. So I'll return to the customers list. You can see the new comments column has been added to the list on the far right. And rather than being blank as you would expect with a new column, it contains a link titled view entries. This is because the column has the append changes feature enabled. When the view entries link is selected, it displays the customer's information along with a history of entries in that column. Right now the comments field displays no existing entries because nothing has been entered. I can actually see the same information if I click on the company ID number over on the left. So to demonstrate how this append feature works, I'm going to open the Brunswick Properties record and add a comment here. I see the comments field added to the form here. I'll click in the text box and type my comment. So I finished entering the comment and then I'll click Save. So I'll click on the View Entries for Brunswick Properties. And you'll see here's my comment, but next to it is my name and the date and time that I entered the comment. Now I'll enter a second comment for the same customer. Notice when I go to edit the record, it provides me with a new blank comments field, but the previous comment is displayed below that box. So I've entered the second comment, click on save, and again I'll choose the view entries for the comments, and you see both comments are noted with my name and the date and time in which they were entered. So next I'm going to change the contact name for Brunswick Properties. So I'll open the record, click on Edit, and this time I'm not adding a comment, I'm just changing the name up here in the contact field. And so I've entered the new name, I'll click Save. Again I'll choose View Entries, and you notice it still stamps the comments field with my name and the date and time that I went and edited this record even though what I changed was the contact field 
not adding a comment here. So as mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, when any changes are made to the other columns of the item, a history record is created displaying only the date and name. To view what was changed, click the drop down arrow for the item, then choose version history. This shows you a history of all the changes made to that record with the most recent change at the top. And you see the last change was changing the contact name to Laura Shields. So as you can see, the Append Changes feature with a multi-line text field is a nice way to record information that is automatically tracked with the date and username.